Oh, that's jazzy. So here's another book for the, if you have kids, to make sure that they're not in your school. It's called Flamer from Mike Curado. So here, I'll just read you the little synopsis here. I know I'm not gay. Gay boys like other boys. I hate boys. They're mean and scary, and they're always destroying something or saying something dumb or both. I hate the world. Or I hate the word gay. It makes me feel unsafe. It's the summer between middle school and high school, and Aiden Navarro is always at camp. Everyone's going through changes, but for Aiden, the stakes feel higher. As he navigates friendships, deals with bullies, and spends time with Elias, a boy he can't stop thinking about, he finds himself on a path of discovery, self-discovery and acceptance. <sighs> Award-winning author and artist Mike Curado draws on his own experiences in Flamer, his debut graphic novel, telling a difficult story of humor, compassion, and love. Recommended reading age 14 plus or with adult guidance. So, they found this in kindergarten through sixth grade libraries at Costa Mesa Elementary School. So you got the twit. Aiden is 14. He's a Filip Filipino-American Catholic, with Catholic faith who, while on a scouting trip, you know, is going through the puberty and sexual, all this nonsense. But here's one of the, just one sentence from the book. They said that they're taking care of business. And he says, what well, he figures out what taking care of business is. Busting a load in this bottle. If you don't come, you have to drink it. Yeah. Shouldn't that be in the kindergarten through sixth grade? Drinking come if you don't get off. So. But everybody's pissed off at DeSantis for banning books like this. If you get mad over this kind of book being taken out of school you know what you are yeah I probably shouldn't have to say it a map or a pedo that's disgusting and you wonder why the boy scouts situation turned into what it did because it seems like there is way more perverts than we ever thought in this country and, I mean, if you'd see some of the reviews of this book, oh, this book is just wonderful. This is good for gay people. Yeah, okay. You know, LGBTQ people don't consist of the entire globe. I know they think they do, and they think everything is wrapped around their lives 24-7, but other people don't want to hear this shit, and they don't want their kids reading this shit about all these boys in a room jacking off, getting off, and then telling the other boy that comes in the room that if he doesn't come, they have to drink it. You're, you're all are fucking sick is what you are. So, if you're a parent and you have a kid in school, go to their library and make sure that book's not in there. It's even got a nice little gay cover to... I don't know if you can see that. Flamer. Bunch of fucking perverts is what they are. They're all fucking perverts. But I'm glad they're exposing themselves. I really am. It, it needed to be done. I, I just, I guess I never in a million years would have imagined as many as there are. Holy shit, there's a lot of them. And notice how they're, it seemed to be centered in schools. The teachers, for one, with their blue hair and their big glasses and their constant, you know, gender identity discussions and sex. Kids pretty much aren't safe anywhere today. But... I just wanted to bring that book up. There's a couple more I gotta bring up too, so that's it for now, so thanks.